Hey folks, take a look at these temperatures. 80s across the western half, western three-fourths of the valley. Raymondville, Harlingen at 80, 83, 85, 86, 88. 88 in Rio Grande City, a little cooler closer to the coast, 76 in Port Isabel, 77 in Brownsville right now. Oh, a warm day across the area, but that's not going to last. Tonight we're going to drop into the upper 50s for lows and low 60s, and a front comes through, and tomorrow we just don't warm up. Temperatures hold steady all day. They might actually go down a degree or two during the daytime tomorrow. Just count on whatever it is when you wake up. That's probably what it'll be most of the day. Cloudy skies, strong northerly breeze all day, and maybe a little bit of drizzle mixed in. That won't be the flavor of the day, but the chilly temperatures you'll definitely notice. We hold around 60 most of the day. Saturday, we try to read Bound. If we get some late day brightening of the skies, it may go up a little bit more than that, perhaps as warm as 70. But then Sunday, look at that, back to 85 again. So the ups and downs continue. And your baseline up here is 85. It can drop 20 degrees. And it's still not cold, it's just cooler, just a little bit below normal. That 65 is actually closer to normal. Here's a look at your cloud cover picture today. And we've seen a fair amount of high cloudiness coming over, but we got to see some blue sky mixed in today as well. Future track shows the front coming through late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Behind it, it turns cool and cloudy, I think, all day. Might be some early brightness, but that's just going to close up and it's going to just go overcast as the day goes on. Not a lot of drizzle, but there might be a little bit even near the coast, maybe a sprinkle or two, but not an all day rain event by any means. And then Saturday, by the time we get to five o'clock, notice the clouds are trying to thin out. Temperatures are going to be slow to warm up, but if the clouds thin enough, then again, maybe we'll warm up a little bit above what we're forecasting. About a 30% chance for spotty drizzle tomorrow and then Saturday and Sunday. Both should be dry. We don't expect any rain and Sunday again. Temperatures are going to warm up. Can you tell where the front is when you look at this map? Just look at the temperature contrast. It's right through Longview. It's through Austin, not quite to San Antonio yet, right on top of Del Rio. North of that, temperatures in the 40s and 50s. South of that, readings in the 70s and 80s. And then, of course, you can make it out on the satellite map as well. So the front moves southward, comes through the valley early tomorrow morning. Clouds linger behind it for a while. You go into Saturday. Clouds are still there most of the day, but maybe some late day breaks. Sunday, you see that little dashed line, that little front. Wind may shift before the front actually gets here. This front's due Sunday night. We're going to bring cooler temperatures for Monday once again, but not a dramatic cool down. Headed north of the valley tomorrow. San Antonio starts at 45, Dallas 36 in the morning. Houston starts in the 40s. They don't get any warmer than the 50s. So we're warmest in the state once again. So tonight, 58 for a low. The clouds come back. Could be a late sprinkle as that wind shifts and the front comes through. Northerly winds tomorrow. Cloudy skies. A cool day. Whatever it is in the morning, maybe that all day long. Not much of a warm up. 60 tomorrow, back to 65 on Saturday, 85 on Sunday. Look what Monday's front does. It's still 80, even behind the front. Back to 86 on Tuesday, a stronger front on Wednesday. Cools in the mid 60s with a little bit of sun, but also some clouds for the middle part of next week. That is your updated First Born 5 forecast.